Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies. Welcome back to War Thunder. And uh, I know I'm uploading something that's not just a <laughs> a, a really low quality uh, cell phone footage of my baby. <laughs> I am pretty proud of Tank Baby, but uh, there is uh, news. Of course, this is not new news, but the Abrams is live. Uh, you can play the Abrams tank on the dev server, and of, of course you can play the challenger, or the whatever leopard, or, or whatever bias machine the Russians have uh, have invented next. <laughs> but uh, Soviet tank very strong, T-64B, um, that will be a good solid choice for anybody that wants to ease their way into top tier. Uh, the Abrams looks like it will be able to perform very well in the hands of an experienced player, but the armor and the gun are not the strongest. You'll have to use those tactically. Um, still, with its high mobility and fantastic fire rate and decent frontal armor, uh, you will be able to perform, especially if you know what you're doing. Um, and uh, what is it? News for today. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter World <laughs> and not streaming it very much just because uh, my setup here is beyond uh, a amateur. <laughs> it's uh, how would you describe this? Janky comes to mind. <laughs> I have uh, two cardboard boxes, no three cardboard boxes, several baby gates, and a giant teddy bear positioned strategically to uh, keep Tank Baby out of the cables <laughs> and, and away from my keyboard. She loves to bippity bat my keyboard. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Like, she she gets so happy and she stands up really tall and she, she shakes her little booty in anticipation and then she just goes, bubbly 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 bap, 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 <laughs> on the keyboard. <laughs> and, and Windows is like, bling, bling, you know, like, what are you trying to do? Baby alert. <laughs> And, uh, suffice to say, all my electronics are in grave, grave danger. So come on. <laughs> it's, uh, basically what I'm trying to say is, it's not easy to stream the PS4. I have to switch things around, uh, switch around some cables, and, uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> I would have to, like, stop playing Monster Hunter for a minute to do that. And, uh... I've just been playing the heck out of Monster Hunter World, but this is a War Thunder video, so how do you get ready for the Abrams? That can be the point of this video. There we go, we're only three minutes in, and we're all ready to the point of this video. Are you sure this is Toshio Thunder? <laughs> War Machine! Do you guys hear the song at the beginning of this one? Uh, that's from the, uh, the, it's like the first real level in Castle Crashers. And uh, great game, let's beat him up. If you ever get frustrated with War Thunder, that's a good one to uh, to just chill for a while and just bippity bap some uh, some endless waves of enemies. War Machine, <laughs> so good. Uh, anyway, we're taking out this tiny little war machine, the T114. Why is the T114 a good trainer for the Abrams? Well, you can practice your hill peaking technique. Uh, you can learn to use your mobility uh, to your advantage. And we're playing arcade, by the way. Um, not because I'm an arcade noob scrub, even though I am. <laughs> but because we're grinding. And I get more consistent results in arcade when I'm grinding. Uh, we have to grind out the uh, MBT-70. And uh, after this, I need to get my hands on around 2 million silver lions. So... Uh... Your premium account is expired. Would you like to resubscribe? You know what, Gaijin? I need to mow some lawns because I think I need that uh, Israeli tank <laughs> and the uh, the weaker premium it comes with. Anyway, we're talking about the bravest little toaster, this teeny little war machine. I I love this little tank. It's so. I've mentioned before that I love things that are just different and unique. And the T114 is very much that. <laughs> it is a tank destroyer that qualifies as a scout tank. Uh, it's amphibious, which is just hilarious. 
it has just the most lol armor layout of, you know, nothing. Everything can go through. You can get killed by machine guns in this tank. But uh, the gun? The gun's kind of neat. It's a three-round autoloader that fires heat FS. So that sounds amazing. But then your muzzle velocity is just ludicrously low. Uh, it's like an ATGM that doesn't get guided at all. <laughs> it just fins towards you. Oh, man. But sometimes, right? Sometimes when you get that ammo rack and the ammo actually detonates, uh, good stuff. Uh. So where were we uh we're about to die here this guy uh he wasn't looking at us so we peeked around the corner and uh well we'll call that a fair trade <laughs> watch his ammo cook it off that's a pretty cool uh kill cam if i say so myself and the t114 can take a hit every now and then because it does have some empty space and in arcade with the last man standing mechanic you can uh sit with one man in your tank and I don't know if this is legit like don't tell Gaijin right but your driver can operate the gun if your gunner gets knocked out while you're waiting for the crew replenishment mechanic and that's uh I don't know if that's historically accurate but it's a nice little uh ace up the sleeve of the brave little toaster. I don't think anyone will ever be afraid that the T114 is OP um, until they come on the wrong side of its uh, heat FS in, in a certain match. <laughs> then the complaints may fly. But uh, if it had a little bit more gun depression it would be a lot better. It's only got 6 degrees down and 6 degrees up so that can be an issue. If you could hill peek with the thing it'd be a little bit better but low profile high mobility in arcade uh, good mobility on flat ground uh, low horsepower engine so there's that now the M46 is actually legitimately a good trainer for the Abrams your armor is reasonably effective at long range your gun is reasonably effective at long range because you fire EFS and you what else is that it you have a decent amount of survivability post penetration uh, especially from uh, solid shot rounds because your crew is rather spread out in the tank your ammo rack is not the easiest thing to detonate which uh, if you've seen go watch some dev server footage on the Abrams uh, Mike goes boom streamed on twitch uh, and his stream is like six hours long, but it's a good thing to play in the background while you're grinding out your American tanks. Oh, I mean, I guess you could grind out the German, by the way. The German uh, Leo 2 is looking like a very offensively capable machine. Uh, but let's talk about, since we're here, and this is something I really wanted to get into, the thing I noticed on the dev server the graphics have been improved. Smoke looks better. Uh, I haven't seen if uh, 50 cals are still uh, proxy smoke generators like they were before, but uh, smoke looks better. Sparks look incredible. Um, Spark Thunder <laughs> is now even more a thing than it used to be. And look at how that French tank can just absorb heat uh, rounds from the front because of its... Uh, its front mounted engine so the visuals look great uh, there are puddles in the game in the dev server uh, that's coming with the next update 1.77 the Heinkel 177 is coming with update 1.77 and uh, finally finally um, bomber pilots rejoice Germany has a mid-tier heavy bomber an actual heavy bomber and it's not uh, it's not in any way overpowered and it looks like so far damage models for bombers are uh, are pretty much what they have been lately which makes them vulnerable to anything that can get a good look at them 
uh, but at the same time your defensive gunners and your reasonable amount of speed can give you enough of an advantage in air rb so there's that i haven't been playing a lot of air rb i just ever since the enduring confrontation air rb event it was so much more fun to play that that i've just been ruined on air rb i had a little bit of fun i took out the duck uh, a while uh, yesterday for a quick match and uh, feasted on a b25 that thought he could head on and <laughs> I shredded him to pieces with uh, 20 mil and 30 mil cannons and then uh, had some fun taking down ground targets I thought about posting that video but it just didn't match with with I guess the theme of today which is Abrams is live it's alive it's alive <laughs> I have no idea how this sounds in the mic. I'm sure it sounds terrible, but uh, basically this is just you joining me for 20 minutes of grinding toward American top tier, and uh, it was kind of interesting how long it took those rockets to kill me. What is my ping? Um, I reset my router recently. I don't know if that was before this or after that, and uh, here we are in the M46. And we went around the wrong corner. My brother! My brother, why have you betrayed me? <laughs> that uh, M48 takes us down. Again, this is, uh, this is arcade, so that's a thing. And while we're on the subject of um, lower high tier American arcade, American 7.0 is really, really solid. There's a little bit of everything. If you want to get ready to drive the Challenger, take out the T... Th oh jeez, what is this? The tank I'm in right here. I can't remember the name of it. It's the 7.0 American Heavy. It's just past the T-34. Uh, the American Heavy tank, that is. Obviously. And this is a tank that performs very well from a hold down position. And the upper front plate is reasonably strong as well. You have some well-known weak points, uh, of course the lower glacis, and there's a shot trap potential uh, on the turret, so look out for that. Um, look out for people shooting large caliber high explosive in between your turret and your whole body, and why do I mention that? The Abrams has an inch of steel between the turret and the hull. The Challenger has relatively thin armor between the turret and the hull. The Challenger has a 60 millimeter driver's patch uh, area, that whole section of armor between the turret ring and uh, say a figure around the driver's shoulders area. 60 millimeters rolled homogenous armor. Everything goes through there. You're welcome. <laughs> so there's your weak spot on the Challenger. Um, weak spot on the Leo 2? Anywhere. Weak spot on the T64B? Uh, probably the forums, because that thing is overpowered. <laughs> you get it? Read it? Right, Gaijin? Please nerf. Uh, no, but honestly, uh, the T64. B, it looks like just to the left and the right of the gun uh, there is no composite armor so if you can manage to punch right through the gun mantlet that's the ticket and if they are not hold down then the lower glacis has no composite armor so that's also an option uh, punching through the upper glacis will be very very difficult only the strongest of uh, Heat FS will go through that. Uh, we're talking like what the Leo 2 has and your Rocket and Jagdpanzer 2 hot missile. Maybe the Shillelagh, I'm not sure, but uh, don't count on it. What else? So basically, with uh, it looks like the T64B has the strongest frontal armor comparatively. The Challenger has solid armor, but very glaring weak spots that are that are easy to target if its hull is exposed. 
the Abrams is an all-around uh, number one in nothing except mobility. Uh, maybe the Leo 2 is a little more mobile, but we'll have to see about that. I think overall the Abrams would still be better in practical mobility because its reverse speed is very good and it's able to traverse and actually utilize its engine power very rapidly because of its turbine engine. So what can be gleaned from all that information? Well, my best advice, watch somebody playing on the dev server that really knows what they're talking about. <laughs> I'm just here being excited for the tanks that are coming to the game. I also want to pick up the uh, Heinkel 177. Uh, I know that Hoppa would be interested in that airplane. Uh, that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and I don't know if Hoppa's watching this video because He's more of an RRB kind of guy, you know, one of those classy people, uh, not us uh, arcade ground forces scrubs. <laughs> Wait, arcade ground force? Am I talking to anyone right now? <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Well, at least I'm in good company. So, I mean, it's been 16 minutes here, apparently, and it's been a lovely journey with all of you. And, you know, I seem to have run out of things to say. Uh, I haven't been making many videos lately. And it's not because my passion for making videos has has waned in any way. I love making these videos. But uh, I'm, I'm not really focused on, like, growing the channel. I just want to make some connections with people that share my interests. You know what I mean? This is a social club. And I talked in another video about how I don't really have to have a lot of friends. I just like having uh, good connections with the friends that I do have. And speaking of which, uh, Jared Tokic, a uh, friend of mine. Uh, wait, is it okay to use your full name online? Oh well, whatever. Don't look him up. He's, he's a cool guy. Um, my buddy Jared uh, came over and we hung out for a while and that was just lovely. Um, Jared and his wife uh, lived with us for a while and we really loved having them around and they were with us when Tank Baby was a little teeny teeny tiny baby and now she's 11 months she's so huge like <sighs> she's not gonna be a baby much longer and Tank Toddler just doesn't have you know what it does kinda have a ring to it doesn't it we'll uh, we'll see about that one so it was great having him over, and I hear it's his birthday soon, so happy birthday, bud. And uh, a while back, I got to have lunch with my best friend, other than my wife, and that was lovely as well. And basically what I'm trying to say is, it's nice hanging out with you guys. And, you know, even if it's a one-way thing where you just listen to the sound of my voice for a while, uh, I love seeing your comments on the videos. Um, I like the the younger folks, the kids that are in my audience, uh, because this is a game, and video games are for kids, by the way. <laughs> we adults, we're just, uh, we're, uh, we're hogging your space. We're really supposed to be actually doing work at our jobs or something, but, you know, daddy needs his fun time, too. <laughs> Uh, check out this kill. So I was trying to come in for that airplane, and he just got evaporated by uh, by well the other the other fighter that jumped into the uh, air combat. You see our first shot on that M. Uh, what a uh, yeah big old uh, American behemoth M108 something like that. Anyway, he's got a 120 millimeter cannon and. Uh, a couple of 50 cals, is it three? Anyway, he's got a whole lot more than this little thing can handle. He can literally shred me to pieces with his 50 cals, so we took out his gun barrel with a lucky shot, pumped another one or two into his mantlet to no effect, and uh, we're getting out of here. <laughs> so we're just trying to reposition ourselves so that we can reset and uh, maybe try and catch somebody off guard because T114, you know, this is not. This is not, uh, this is not your mom's heavy tank. And we end up getting stopped by an M46. So that's the end for us. There. Anyway, guys, 
It's been a pleasure hanging out with you all. Sorry I couldn't always think of something to say, but I did want to show you the rest of this video. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, Abrams Hype. God bless America.